Well, Devante and Christine, I'm standing here at the media staging area at the McDonald's, just a few steps away from where that scene is taking place. And you may not be able to see, but I want to describe to you what we've been looking at, who we've been talking to since we arrived here not too long ago. As you can imagine, it's been a lot of questions from those that may have been inside the mall at the time and those that may have had loved ones or friends that were inside. And I'll just tell you a little bit about what we've been hearing. I spoke to a business owner who was on the second level of the mall, and she tells me that her and her employee heard one gunshot and immediately locked and closed their doors. They said that they're thankful to be okay, but still, as you can imagine, very shaken up. We also spoke to a business owner on the lower level. He too says that he heard a gunshot and also just reacted by closing his door. We spoke to him. He said that he is doing all right. But again, the overall theme out here is shock. When we arrived here, we also spoke to a, a man who got off of work early because he told me that his significant other was inside getting her phone fixed. Of course, she did not uh, imagine that her coming to Haynes Mall to get a phone fix would turn into a completely different situation. And he told me that he was a little worried about that because since she was getting her phone fixed, she did not have a way to message him. So I actually was able to uh, catch back up with him a few minutes ago. He said he was able to uh, get a hold of his significant other and all as well. But again, that has been the central theme out here. Again, the, the parking lot has kind of calmed down a little bit. We have since moved back, but it's been a lot of questions, a lot of people trying to figure out what's been going on. A lot of people coming here for shopping, for working, for check-ins, whatever the case may be. And certainly their afternoon has taken a turn. Now I will say just as it pertains to the scene here, we did see an ambulance leave here around four o'clock. I don't know what that is in connection to. Of course, we do know that one person is injured in that shooting. But again, a lot of questions, a lot of questions for those on scene. And as soon as we get some more answers regarding what happens, we will be sure to let you know. For now, we're live in Winston-Salem. I'll send it back to you both.